Welcome back to the Soft Tissue Revolution podcast version 2.0, where we teach manual therapists a better treatment system that will allow you to cut your treatment times by at least 50% so you can stay healthy, avoid that dreaded burnout, and help more people get out of pain so they can stay the hell away from pain pills, injections, and surgeries, which only make things worse. My name is Dr. Matt Maggio. I am a soft tissue injury treatment expert, specifically for neck, shoulder, and sciatica pain. My focus is on diagnosing and treating scar tissue and reducing inflammation from chronic injuries without the use of drugs, injections, and surgeries, which does lead to a significant increase in overall functioning and long-lasting pain relief. How to use social media to grow your business, but making sure you don't let it use you. I say this all the time, marketing is the lifeblood of your business. And as a mentor of mine once taught me, if they don't know me, then they can't flow me. There's lots of ways to market your business and one that is relatively free and has the ability to reach a lot of people is still social media. For context of this episode and giving some strategies and tactics and tips and all that good stuff, I wanna focus solely on Instagram and Facebook as they're the easiest to navigate and still the most popular. I don't don't mess around with TikTok. There's something about it I don't like. Um, I might be a conspiracy theorist person, but the amount of data shared with our friends over in China is pretty bad, but I know the other platforms do it too. They're all just sharing and stealing our data. But that's for a whole different podcast. Not going to get conspiracy theory too much here for you. Recently, I guess, yeah, in the last five, six years, social media has gotten a bad rap. And in all honesty, a lot of that critique is is very well deserved. It's divisive. It's addictive. It's negative, And it's really, really distracting. The key, though, is being able to leverage it properly to grow your own business without getting sucked into all the nonsense of it. You know, you easily, you know, easily said, but not done. You know, I don't even think I said that right. But basically, essentially learn to use it, but don't let it use you. The goal of social media marketing and marketing in general is first just general awareness to potential clients that you even exist. The focus should always be to educate them on a potential problem they have and then show them how you can be a solution to that problem. I say it all the time. The world needs more solutions to problems and the issue is people don't even know you exist or can help because you never share or make any content to help. Now you're probably afraid to get on camera and look dumb, but it really isn't that bad. It isn't as bad as you think. And if the messaging is correct, it doesn't matter what it looks like. Remember this, this is really important. And I think about this every time I make a piece of content, even when I started like 10 years ago and I looked like an idiot, I couldn't even look in the camera. I said, um, I, I, blah, 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 blah. I just stumbled upon my words. I still do it from time to time, but I'm a lot better than I used to be is there's someone out there right now that's crying themselves to sleep every night with a problem that you can help fix, but they don't even know that you exist because you're afraid of what you look like. You're afraid of looking dumb and you don't do anything. So get out of your comfort zone and start sharing how you can help. So some keys to great content that will help attract clients. You know, number one is make sure you make the post about the client, not you and help them recognize that you aren't trying to be the hero of their story, just one to help them along the journey. You know, so many, I, I see it more on Instagram. It's like, oh, I'm the fucking greatest and da, 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 da. I'm a 10 level Jedi master of some bullshit and I'm certified in everything you could think of. They don't give a shit about that. They don't, you do, and it's all for your ego. And I've done that too, but it, it, it doesn't matter. It's about the client and what you can do to help them. They don't give a shit about you. They don't care that you think you're sweet. I'm sure you are sweet and I'm sure you're awesome and you're booked up and all that good stuff, but they don't really care. They just wanna know that you have, they have a problem that you excel at solving. And then whenever I'm like constructing a post, maybe a, a photo, a video, I, I don't know, something. I follow what's called the PASS formula, P-A-S. It's called problem 
agitate, solve. So you identify the problem that the person might have. Then you agitate it by saying, hey, this is keeping you from doing the things you love, keeping you from working out, making you can't work out. So then you get fat and you can't do that. Then it, it just continues to go. And then lastly, on the solve part, you show them how you can be a solution for the problem. Problem, agitate, solve. Number three, the most important thing you can do on social media is just be consistent and show up. You know, in the beginning, start with once per week and dedicate yourself to doing it. Then add more and more each week until the point where you have five to seven solid pieces of content going out every week. People are going to be looking at you, going to be showing up. One thing I do with this podcast is it comes out every week at the same time. All my other content comes out the same week at every time. You have other people that you follow, other content you do. Like if they run a podcast or they drop a video, you kind of get anxious. You're like, where the hell is the video? Like staying consistent and doing that, people are going to be looking for your content and looking forward to seeing it. And then another thing you can do, you know, because you're like, oh, I don't have time to do this. I'm so busy and da 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 or I'm already booked up. It doesn't matter if I market or I'm fine. You always want to be pr promoting awareness and getting more people out there to know what you do. So take 30 to 60 minutes a week, sit down and plan and organize it. And then put it on your schedule and never compromise on all that. I, you know, I coach and train a lot of uh, massage therapists, manual therapists and mentor them and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, they're always like, I know I need to do stuff, but I just can't do it. I'm like, then fucking put it on your schedule and just do it. And don't, don't ever compromise with it. It's not that fucking hard. Sit down, think about some stuff, follow that problem, agitate, solve formula, and just share about what you can do and how you can help. And number five, if you're looking for ideas of like what kind of content you should make that follow that problem, agitate, solve, and what the content looks like, you can, I'll link in my, um, in the comment section below for this episode, I'll link my own clinics, um, YouTube page that has well over, I think like 500 videos of content we've made. And you can make something very similar to that. You know, they're like maybe anywhere from two to eight minutes long, just talking about a problem. Like, Hey, you slept on your neck wrong. Here's what's actually happening. Yeah. It sucks. You can't turn your head. And then you go to the chiropractor and then you get a deep tissue massage and it's not getting any better. Like, what can you actually do? Here's some action steps. Here's how I can help. And you might be saying to yourself once again, and you say this all the time, I hear this all the time is I'm already fully booked. And if I make content, I'm going to get new clients and I'll never be able to handle any new clients. Oh my gosh, I'm already booked up, you know, booked up for a whole month in advance. A lot of that is just tricks that you do where you overbook yourself to you think you're busy, but you're really not. My argument back to you would be to ask yourself if you're really making the money you want to make, are you truly working with your ideal clients that you want to work with? And are you going to work when you want to work? If not, there's an opportunity to change your existing practice into something new and exciting that makes you great money working less hours. Uh, I cover all that, shameless plug. We cover all that in our immersive training courses and you can reach out for all of those where we show you basically how to work 50% less and you know double, triple your income. Work with the people you wanna work with and be a problem solver. So now that we know how to start using social media, we have to make sure that we do not let it use us. So here's a couple hard rules that will help you along the journey. Number one is use the screen time limits on your phone and actually stick to it. You know, you can put it in and say, I'm going to do 15 minutes a day. And then you do it. And it's like, Oh, your time is up. Hit the code. I'll unapproved for more. Like stick to that. That stuff is addictive. That's like a drug. It's going to really fuck with you. Next thing I like to do is what I call the post and ghost method. So I'll have my post ready to go. I'll go in, I'll post it. It's done. I'm done. I'm out of there. I don't scroll. I don't check anything else. I don't do any of that stuff. And then another thing to do that really helped me was try not to have the app installed directly on your phone. They make it really hard sometimes to do that, but try not to have it on your phone. And if you do have it on your phone, give some of those limitations in there as well. And then use the desktop instead. Use a desktop, desktop version instead. You can use that on Instagram you can use it on Facebook as well. That version is way less enjoyable and it's harder to navigate, so you're not gonna wanna be on there anyway. And then another thing you can do is take advantage of the scheduling portions of the post. They have that now 
for Instagram, for Facebook, across the board. You can go in, schedule them all in advance. They're done. They automatically post. And then you won't be tempted to go in there. Oh, I'm about to put this post on. And then before you know it, you're down a fucking rabbit hole for 45 minutes later, looking at all these different videos. And then you've just time sucked your entire day away. You're pissed off. You're angry. You're mad. All that kind of stuff. Now social media used you. You got used by social media instead of you using it to help your business. I know this episode was a little more tactical than other ones, but if your business can thrive and make lots of money by helping more people, it does help me on my mission to help get this care to more people. Quality, soft tissue work to more people so they can stay the fuck away from pain pills, injections, and surgeries, which only make things worse, and then stay the hell away from physical therapists that just are glorified personal trainers and chiropractors that I don't even know what they do. They say they do adjustments and turn the power on. I don't, I don't know. None of that stuff really works. People need quality, soft tissue care, but they have to know that they that you exist because if they don't know you, they can't flow you. So in closing, just a couple things. Um, share this episode with others in the profession that you know could help. Number two, don't get sucked into the addiction of your phone. And if it has control over you, take it back. Number three, access and download our free training modules. They're a lot better than any paid course out there. We actually just revamped it. Uh, it's like I'm the fourth version. I'm always updating that, trying to get you the best information and getting you along that path to becoming a solutions provider, working 50% less, all that good stuff, keeping your body healthy and helping more people. And then once you've gone through the free courses, you can reach out to see if one of our immersive courses can help you on the path to cutting your treatment times in half so you can help more people with the added benefit of making more money than you've ever had. And lastly, go out there and focus on being great this week. It's the only thing that truly pays and helps people all at the same time. Appreciate you guys listening and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Thanks so much for listening. If you want help on the path to being able to double your income all while working 50% less and being taken seriously as a healthcare provider, I have some great resources for you. Number one, get access to our free training modules and introduction to my system, The Peak Method. Number two, subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Soft Tissue Revolution. Links to all of this can be found in the show notes. Lastly, if you like the show, please leave us a five-star review and share it with others that you know it could help.